It's not every day that you get to build a volcano, but today I get to. Hey there, my name is Wayne Riz, and on this channel, we're walking the journey toward Jesus together. We have our Harvest Festival coming up at our church, and I am in charge of building a volcano. So we're gonna head to Walmart, buy some things, come back, and hopefully be able to do this because, well, it needs to be done by tomorrow. I might be a procrastinator. We made it to Walmart. Our, our Harvest Festival is a treasure island theme. We get to have a lot of fun. Kids get to play games. I get to do a volcano -y thing. And we get to talk to them about Jesus, so it should be fun. From Walmart, I need spray paint, spray foam, and probably some other things, but I don't know what. Um, and, and probably some Reese's peanut butter cups, though those aren't for the volcano, that's just because I have a sugar addiction. Why are you even spending your day building a volcano? Well, here's a big part of the reason. Our fall festival is a chance for us to invite families and kids in our community to come and hang out to have fun in a safe place to get probably way too much candy and we get a chance to just get to know them as a community and to tell them about the love of Christ. So I think it's worth putting time into something like building a volcano, hopefully that turns out okay, for a chance to share the love of Christ with our community. So we've got the base made. We've got the first layer of spray foam. While that dries, I'm going to eat lunch and go to Lowe's because I bought uh, store brand spray foam at Walmart and not loving it. We got one can of that left, which is not gonna be enough to fill these cracks. So if I get a couple cans from Lowe's, come back after lunch, hit it again. I think I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm back from Lowe's. Got two more cans of spray foam, so now I have three left. Um, pretty happy with this. This is dry, so now it's time to hit it for the second round of spray foam. Spray foam is all dry, it's almost time to pry this thing up and paint it. But here's why I'm okay with spending a good part of my day building a volcano. Because tomorrow night I get to hang out with kids and we're going to talk about anxiety and things that cause us to worry when we make this volcano erupt. And we're going to talk about Christ being there. 1 Peter 5 7 says, Cast all your anxiety on Him, for He cares for you. We know that no matter what we're facing, we can cast our cares, we can cast our worries on Jesus. And I get to tell kids about that tomorrow night with this sick volcano. So I got the table set up. They're setting up and making noise and doing a lot of things. But I got the table. I'm going to put on the volcano, which is how you say it improperly, the volcano. And then I'm going to test it. And I watched some videos today, I was a little bit disappointed in orange soda, so I might go tonight and buy a bunch of Diet Coke and not tell a person in charge. So, me and you, between me and you. I don't know if I can drop six at a time. I might sew them together for tomorrow. Stand back! Oh no, Volcano! You're testing it? It's gonna explode. You're testing it? I just exploded. What is that? This is Ono Volcano. No, what is it? What is that stuff? It's a volcano. Are you ready? Uh oh. Oh no! Ono Volcano! That was amazing. High five. What is that? How does 
All right, I'm excited that it worked. That's that's all for this week. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you liked it, you can hit the thumbs up button. You can subscribe. You can share it with your friends. Uh, you can leave me a comment and tell me that my volcano is awesome or that it's lame. That's up to you. Have a great week. Take care. Polar bear.